Let's look at a very special camera, which is the Olympus Pen FT. Oh, very nice uh, design in front. Uh, this is a made in Japan camera uh, that has the particularity of uh, being a half frame camera and a reflex, meaning you've got a full set of lens that are exchangeable. Uh, you see, you just have to grab that here and turn and you got the the mirror uh, the reflex instead of, of being on a, a flip uh, upside down it's flipping on the side so it's a uh, mechanically uh, uh, very creative and they were able to to fit a, a all reflex mechanism in such a small format camera uh, it's not the cheapest of, of cameras uh, to, to find I bought that directly uh, from Japan um, and uh, it's very nice because you have the the half frame size of a of a, any uh, half frame camera uh, you see here. The size is the half of the uh, 24 by 36 uh, millimeter normal size uh, for a, re a reflex or the um, not a no re analog reflex. So it means you 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 can take uh, 72 uh, photos out of a 36 um, uh, roll, and um, uh, the the counter uh, reflects that uh, it's it goes from a s uh, start to a 72, and um, its um, measure is through the lens, so it's a, a TTL uh, measure, yes. Um, with the particularity of having um, the aperture selection uh, not being measured in in terms of a normal uh, uh, aperture um, numbers but something ranging from one to six which is a bit weird um, so one I think being being the uh, the the the, the wider opening to six, the, the the shorter opening or reverse, I don't remember. Uh, sorry. And here uh, you got the the speed selection, so it goes from uh, uh, B pose uh, to uh, uh, seconds 15, 30 up to uh, 150 of a second. Yes, which is a uh, uh, quite nice. Um, and uh, to to use it. You just have to look inside um, with the, the the measure being uh, visible in a, in a visor with a little needle, indicating uh, what is the the, the the best aperture you have got to select. So you just use the the, the speed selection while when looking at it, and the needle tells you, for example, select two or three, and you can go there and, and select uh, the correct aperture. So. It's kind of manual uh, with some help um, of exposure measurement. Uh, I had a bit of overexposure, of, though I might be tempted to overexpose sometimes because I'm shooting a lot of expired film. I tend to overexpose, but but uh, still, I think it's it's quite accurate. And if it were exposed, you just have to take that into account, taking your measurement or just using the uh, the 16 rule and and not taking care about that. And um, about the the, um, the fact that it's a reflex, it's very nice because you, as a normal reflex, when you look here, you look through the lens, and uh, so when you 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 make your um, uh, you, you can you can really see through what's happening, and uh, it's it's a very nice experience to have a, in, a reflex in such a small format. It's a bit heavy. But it's very metal, very nicely made. I, I always shoot it with pleasure and have a nice shutter sound. I yeah, hope you can hear that. So, I always shoot it with pleasure. Um, what else? Um, you can select the uh, ASAR uh, here. You see, you've got to lift that here and to turn 
just to say okay it's uh, 50 ASA, 100 ASA or ISO now. ASA stands for American uh, Standard, uh, now it's International Standard but it's the same. Uh, so it's a bit small but you can select the sensitivity of your film under that, that same ring by lifting it and then you select the speed as I said. Uh, you've got some other indication here, I think it's used for infrared or whatever, I, I never use that. Uh, when you're done, it's uh, like usual, you, you push that button here, you turn here and you, you rewind and to open it you lift and, uh, and then you get access to the trap. So uh, very, very classical way of doing things. Um, the lens are quite good, quite sharp. This one is a 38 uh, millimeter with a 1.8 um, uh, brightness. So it's quite nice, uh, Olympus Yuko. So there, there lot, there's a lot of um, a range of uh, teleobjectives also. Although I must admit with the teleobjective it's a bit weird on such a small camera. So I prefer to, to, to shoot it with, uh, with that kind of lens. And, uh, and uh, it's a good street shooter. Uh, I shoot it some, uh, some, uh, some photos last year um, that I will uh, add at the end. That were uh, shot in uh, near in, in the south of Bordeaux in a, in a place uh, called uh, Medoc. For those who know that, and it was on the seaside and uh, a quite nice shot. And I, I say I really like out frames because well you can tell stories. You you instead of shooting one shot, you shoot two of them, and uh, you can shoot one thing, one object and another object from an angle, different angle or a close up, and. Uh, and the same thing in a wider angle and when you take the two photos together it tells a little diptych a little story about uh, on on one uh, on two two shots you you got a little story to tell i i quite like it so um i recommend the camera it's it's very nice if you find one in in good states as i say it's not the cheapest one so it's not uh, for uh, starters uh, i mean you need to you really need to spend about uh, Two hundred dollars to get one in good shape, so it's it's uh, it's not that expensive, but it's not that cheap either. Um, and uh, Olympus uh, reissued uh, uh, an Olympus pen, uh, very similar look with uh, uh, the digital air area when they very use some of a of a look uh, of that that camera. So it might be familiar the the. The name Olympus Pen is also used in, a, in the digital world. Well, uh, that's it for today. So let's have some uh, example shots uh, just out of that. And, and uh, as, as, uh, as I said, just uh, tell me in your comments what you think about that video, if you like it, and uh, I will do some more if you like it. Thank you. Bye-bye.